you are watching KSG News Explainer. In this video, we are going to talk about G20 Ministerial Symposium. Finance Minister Nirmala Sitaraman called on the G20 nations to examine the feasibility of bringing non-financial assets such as crypto and immovable properties under the purview of automatic exchange of information among countries. The move is meant to enhance tax transparency. Now let's get to the facts to be remembered. Our investigations have shown that numerous layers of entities are often set up by tax evaders to conceal their unaccounted assets even though the automatic exchange of information framework provides for financial account information to various jurisdictions, the finance minister said during the G20 ministerial symposium on tax and development in Bali. Tax evaders explore other avenues to shift their unaccounted wealth through investment in non-financial assets. Raising concern over tax transparency issues, the finance minister said that those jurisdictions which are not yet part of the automatic exchange framework will have to be brought in. For that, G20 must play the role of a catalyst, she said. More than 100 countries have committed to exchanging financial account information under the mechanism. Now, Talking about global minimum tax, on the proposed global minimum tax deals, the FM said G20 should ensure that uh, developing nations do not face any unintended consequences and earn meaningful revenues. A total of 130 countries, including India, had in July last year agreed to overhaul the global tax norms so that uh, global Digital giants such as Facebook, Google and Netflix pay taxes wherever they operate and at a minimum 15% rate. The proposed inclusive framework under the support of OECD is trying to rewrite and update a century-old tax rules. The finance minister also highlighted administrative issues because of variations between countries. In the proposed system, Pillar 1 is about reallocation of additional share of profit to the market jurisdictions and Pillar 2 consists of minimum tax and subject to tax rules. That's it for this explainer. Thank you so much for watching. To join KSJ in the courses and to crack the IS exam, visit ksjindia.com. You can also get a PDF of this explainer on ksjindia.com. Thanks for watching.